Hey, young people. Man, it's sore throat turning a damn cold. If I sound stuffy, my nose is draining. Hopefully it's just a uh, simple virus and not the complex. But anyway, uh, let's see. This guy here is uh, out of, where was it? Tennessee. And I know it's an old video. For some reason, I have people out there that wants to come here and be the date police. This video is old. Okay, the Constitution is old. Our country is old. Our history is old. Does that mean you can't talk about it or discuss it? I don't know what it is about the date police that have to come here. Oh, I've seen that. That's old. Okay, whatever, dude. You're really cool because you saw it earlier. All right. Anyway, uh, I find it interesting that this this is how government taxpayer money is being spent. This week, THP has a new ride. It's a patrol vehicle. It's 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 in service. It's got its markings and sirens and lights like like our, like our cars. Uh, but in this case, we have two troopers, one driving, one observing. Working in teams, they're driving I-40. Working in teams. So we need two people. I don't know what these rigs cross. I'm thinking close to 100 grand. But that's ah, the government money. Don't worry about it. Just pay your taxes, pesky taxpayer. Be looking for people breaking the law. Improper lane changes, no seat belts. Ooh, man, those are some serious charges to invest all this money in two people, diesel fuel inspection, tires, upkeep. But we're going to get us some seat belt tickets and some lane changes. Ooh, those highway patrol guys, they're always the coolest. But the main focus is Texan driving. And the extra height certainly helps. It's hard to see it in one of our normal. So we got a lieutenant driving around with another guy because he has to get a cat class three license. So that'll be more government because government's paying for that. It's very easy to see it in something like this. On a quick trip this afternoon, Volkswagen looks like a facade. Lieutenant Don Boshears spotted two texters behind the wheel. Oh my goodness, somebody was texting. But don't worry, government's on the job. We have two people in a big $100,000 truck driving around keeping you safe. You know, this, this goes right into point that right now doing this virus, cops aren't doing anything. Uh, as usual, when things go downhill, government gets paid. They keep their jobs. They never downsize. Nobody's not getting paid. Meanwhile, they're shutting down a country. People are losing their jobs, homes, etc. And it makes working for government more appealing. Therefore, if we get government to grow, we have good government employees, we can pass anything because all the government employees won't want to lose their job. So this gets us closer to socialism and communism to where the government controls all jobs, all money, all things, and whatever government can give, government can take away. We just try to ride in the center lane, right at the speed limit or for trucks, and just let them go by. And uh, right there's another one, right here. Right there's another one. Man, he's Johnny on a spot. I bet you he had to go to college for years, and he had to really go through some special training. There are going to be some out here. He needs more training. He should have two hands on the wheel. He shouldn't have... You know, whatever. They radio a third trooper. Oh, so we have a third trooper. Not only do we put two in a car, we got another guy following him around so he can make the traffic stops. Freaking outrageous. Let me know when you get down this way. Who then issues the citation. People don't see this vehicle going down the road. It's one of the largest vehicles out on the road, but yet they don't see it because they're distracted. Damn. Thanks, Sergeant Smokey Bear, with your hat and sunglasses. Woo. He's, I mean, he should work for the CHP. That, oh, I forgot. CHP got the little hats, too. All those guys that wear those hats seem to think they're saving the world by raising insurance rates and harassing people on the road. Other districts have used the truck for similar enforcement campaigns, but this is the first time for District 1. THP hopes this method will get their message heard. Oh, it's going to get their message heard. I got the message heard. How about the message heard now? When the collapse of society and when there's a crisis... People without guns are on their own. You tell people you protect them. The courts have ruled you had no duty to protect. Then you tell us you have to write these tickets in order to keep us safe. And then when there's a crisis like the coronavirus, you're told, come to work, get paid, don't stop anybody, don't do anything. Meanwhile, we have all this government getting paid, all this government growing, all these government jobs that will never go away in order to protect us and tell you that, woo, 
without these guys on a roll writing tickets, man, it would just be, you know, road road warrior out there. It would be crazy. I mean, you know, these CHP and these other highway patrol guys, state police out there writing these tickets and keeping us safe. We need them. Unless they might catch the virus. And now they're told not to contact anybody unless it's a felony. To me, this is a perfect example of why we need less government, why we have too many cops, and why the cops are out harassing good people, and we don't need them. If they can, if they can only respond to felonies now, then we don't need that many, and they should only respond to felonies after this crisis. Absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, figured I'd pass that on. Well, in that there.